One, what do you know? Every year he chants another round on his birthday. That's his birthday offering to Krishna. Because in Vedic concept, and when it's your birthday, you're supposed to give gifts to others, and supposed to feed others, and supposed to give charity to Brahmins, and have them come over and do a yagya, do a yagya and home in your house, and then you feed them and you ask for Ashavad. Please bless me. I'm a year closer to death. I'm a year closer to death. I haven't realized God. I'm still attached to all ridiculous, stupid things. I have so many petty ambitions and desires, and I can't bust out of them. So please help me. I need your mercy. Without your mercy, I'll never get anywhere. So this is the real Vedic birthday. And actually, first thing is, when it's your birthday in Vedic society, you fast for 24 hours. You feed Brahmins. And you go to on Tirtha, go to a holy place, and pray for mercy of Takraji. And feed, invite the Brahmins in your house, because they preach something about death. They preach something about utility of life. Oh, you're a year older means a year closer to death. Well, now we have a birthday party. Booze, whiskey, dance, women, gifts, me, 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 my gifts, my gifts, my party. It's all Maya. And Gurunga was born and born in Mayapur doing the same thing. All the smartest and Brahmins have big money, so they're just spending it all on useless, worshipping Shasti and Basti and Kasti and Tasti and everybody. So these are bad habits. But this is the Vedic concept. It's a very beautiful concept. And it's a very real concept. It's not a cause of celebration. It's a cause of contemplation.